Hello everyone, this is Lahi with Lahi Labs and today I'm just going to show you guys the logical representation of the network that I have and that you will be creating. This is just a, a map so we can plan what we're doing and it's always good to start with something solid like a network diagram then work on creating it instead of just uh, installing any kind of software. So the first thing that you're going to notice on this diagram is that uh, I have multiple VLANs and at this point I'm going to assume that you understand what a VLAN is and if you don't I highly suggest that you go and uh, look it up just understand what VLANs are and what are they used for and in this case I'm using them to segregate these networks I use a combination of VLANs, access control list and uh, I also use Cisco switches so I can also do allowed VLANs and also all those kind of stuff but uh, in this diagram, I just wanted to run you through what's going on. Starting from the internet, you go to your home firewall router or whatever you have. Then from there, I have a switch. I actually have a, a couple of Cisco switches, uh, 3750, that I, uh, I'm, I'm just using and playing with. And then also um, from the switch, I have a trunk that's going to my ESXi, which is really great. Then from the EXXI, that's where I do all these VLANs. These are all uh, diff in different switches, and they are all independent of each other, except I'm actually allowing traffic differently for each uh, environment, depending on what's going on. So as you can see on this diagram, the only VLANs that I actually allow here are two and five, which is um, the home, and some IT management and for five I actually allow it for updates only and I actually uh, don't allow a lot more traffic from there then um, I have the operations this is uh, sort of my Linux um, and you find a lot of vulnerable machines here and I also have uh, Kali Linux spinning in here then I have the home for home Wi-Fi and connections IT management that's where I keep most of my uh, management information and also um, log and events manager um, all the management stuff IT stuff then Wi-Fi of course I want it to be different I'm uh, using Meraki then I also have lab Wi-Fi which I use for Wi-Fi testing sometimes and I also have this open subnet here which is just uh, open for whatever I want to test with so this is the network diagram you don't need to have the switch you can just go straight from the firewall to here but I highly suggest that if you're going to be playing with something like this you want to be as close to the real world as possible so I have this switch here and if you really want you can also have in VMware another um, Cisco virtual switch that you can connect to this switch you can actually learn it a little bit more there but keep it simple we're just going to go from your route, home router into your uh, Dell server or whatever server that you have and from the server you will create uh, vSwitches or you can create distributed vSwitches like in my case which do even more and um, we'll be looking at that in the next video so this is the network diagram I'm going to have this uh, template on lahilabs.com so what you can do is just download this template down, uh, download Visio if you don't have it just do the tri trial version use it to customize this to your liking your IP addresses may be different then once you have this you'll be ready to start the installation in the next videos